Right, the last thing we have to do to get um, the uh, radio controlled mark working is to set up the transmitter. Now, I'll assume that you've bound the transmitter uh, to the receiver. Um, on these Flysky ones, to switch it on, it's important to have all the switches in the up position and throttle in the down and this in the centre, otherwise you get an error message. Now, I've got a couple of things to do to steer it, because we're using differential steering. I want to be able to steer it by going left or right. Um, so what we have to do is we're using the Elevon function here. So if you go into the menu, hold down the on button until you get the, okay, that's it, until you get the menu up and go into the setup menu and then come down until you get to Elevon's and hit the on to go into that. And these are set normally, first of all, normally it's set it off, so you need to switch it on, and you need to change, uh, make sure the channel one is 50% and channel two is minus 50%. So once that's done, hold cancel down to save that. So that's the Elevon's done. Now the other thing we have to actually do is, and it's further up, is to set the auxiliary channels so that we can tell it uh, which of these switches is doing what. So if we go into auxiliary channels, and well, I have these already set, but they want the channel one, or channel five, which is fine, which we have um, um, plugged in our um, winch to, you need to change the source to switch C. That's the three-way switch, okay? And the second one there, uh, channel six to switch D, that's our lock and drop. So if you change those, and then again, hold cancel to um, sort it out. Now, and we'll come cancel, hold cancel to save everything and come out. Now, there's one thing I should say is that sometimes when you do this, um, things work the wrong way around. Like for instance, when I set this up for myself, the winch, uh, when I went to pay out, it pulled in and so on, but we can reverse that. So if you go into the settings menu again, and you go to reverse, just hit on to go into reverse. Um, I actually had to reverse channel five and save that, and that's easy. And it's the same thing sometimes on one and two. When I actually put these in the water to test it, um, when I tested it in the kitchen sink, um, the first thing was that when I went forward, just straight forward, one was going one way and one was going the other way, so I had to reverse the channels. But you may have to do that. But apart from that, that's it done. Now, there is one very important thing that I should mention if you're using this Fly Sky Radio. As I said earlier, you have to have everything up, all the switches up when you switch it on. If you don't have it up, you get this error message, place all switches in the up position. So you've got to switch it up. But once it's up, before you switch on, the receiver, you must put this one into the central position. Otherwise, it's in the payout position. And you'll get, when you switch it on in the mark, you will get a, a strange noise and an error message from your um, uh, channel, uh, the one that has the winch uh, uh, ESC on it. So that must be, so when you switch this on initially, then push this back to the neutral position before you switch the mark on, and then everything should work. Enjoy your radio-controlled mark.